Hey guys, I wanted to do a little tutorial on deadlifting, particularly um, Romanian deadlifts, which just means that you're doing a deadlift keeping your legs relatively straight. And it doesn't matter if your feet are split for our sumo deadlift or close together for just the standard Romanian deadlift, but there's a few key things you want to keep in mind. And I know some of you have had some questions about feeling it in your back rather than your hamstrings. And there's some really, you know, three kind of major things to think about. The first is that you're loading your heels. So if you take a look here at my legs, you're going to notice that my toes are actually up off the ground slightly. And you don't have to actually pick your toes up off the, off the floor, but I find this helps to put the weight in your heels. You don't want to be loading the balls of your feet, but rather pushing the weight really far back into your heels. The other thing to think about is you want to keep your legs um, relatively straight. You're going to be limited by your hamstring flexibility. So if you take a look at me, I do bend my knees slightly and it's because I have really poor hamstring flexibility. If you're very, very flexible, you'll be able to keep that knee straight, but otherwise you are going to want to keep it slightly bent as straight as possible, but not so much that you are finding that you have to round your back. Which brings me to the next and probably the most important piece of a Romanian deadlift and doing it safely to protect your joints. Um, and that is keeping your back nice and flat throughout the entire movement. So if you pull your attention up from my legs and into my back, you're going to notice that my lower back maintains that slight arch and my shoulders stay back where they belong. So if you take a look here from the front view, my shoulders are not dropping towards the ground. I'm keeping them sucked back in their sockets. You want to really think of pinching your shoulder blades together, especially as you drop yourself forward. Um, sometimes it helps to actually think of arching your back slightly. So you're dumping your pelvis over forward and you're pulling your shoulder blades back behind you. It's super, super important not to round your lower or upper back. And that's when you're going to feel it in your back rather than in your hamstrings and glutes where we want to. Um, and that's where you start putting joints at risk. So it's really important to keep that flat back. And it might mean getting in front of a mirror and having a look. It's really hard sometimes to tell where our bodies are in space if you're you know, just starting out or you're not used to feeling where your joints are in respect to the space around you. So getting in front of a mirror and taking a look at those three elements can be really helpful. Again, um, I just want to do a quick review of sort of the points to look at to protect your back and put the work where we want, which is in your hamstrings. So once again, just as a recap, the three things to look for are pushing your hips back out behind you and loading your heels so you feel a stretch in your hamstrings at the bottom of that movement, keeping your legs as straight as possible and maintaining a flat back. 